bit windy, climbed about a thousand meters so far and uh, just taken a little bit of shelter here halfway up. But uh, there's still, still some way to go. There's a little hut up there and that's where I'm headed to. The peak is not my goal today. So getting close to the hut now, I thought I'd just show you a little insight how to get my, a lot of my photos. So I find a spot like this. Okay, good spot there. There's a hill just there. So if I just go and stand on it from here, we'll make a perfect angle. All right, so then what I do is I figure out down here where I want to be. Yeah, that's a great angle there. So that means this is the spot where I need to put my phone. Now, I'll either have my a little tiny tripod that I have with me but this is quite in state and you know, it's not very flat here. So on this occasion, I've fashioned this small group of rocks and then I can just balance my phone in there, take a video, run up the hill and pose, and then uh, take a still off that. Simple. Whoa, uh, getting up there now, just on the lee side of the mountain here. The shelter from the wind and this path is something else I'm going to show you now. It's carrying on along this ridge and the hut I'm heading to now up there on the Hornley Ridge is uh, very clear, very, uh, very clear in view now but that ridge looks dangerous. It's getting tough now, up to nearly 3,200 meters and having to stop every, I don't know, every 30 seconds to a minute just to get my breath back. Altitude is definitely becoming a little bit of a factor, either that or it's just massive fatigue, probably a bit of both. But the hut is just there now, I can see it. If I was at the hut, I could throw a stone to where I am now. So. Very close, just got to power on, last 10 minutes or so. Peace. Made it. Just up here on the Hornley Ridge, just above the Hornley Hut now. Um, sat down on some rocks which have just been hopefully made into the shape of a lovely seat and uh, it's 3,303 meters which means I've done 1,700 meters today all fueled on an espresso and a small Mars bar and uh, I'm sat at the, at the bottom of this ridge now looking up at the Matterhorn and the next bit's for mountaineers it's not for me certainly not today um, but it's, uh, it's definitely been worth the climb, that's for sure. But this sun is pretty intense up here and um, it's quite exposed as well. So you can see I'm all wrapped up. When the wind blows, it's pretty cold and uh, I'm definitely going to get sunburn if I stay up here too long. So time for the down. All the way down there to Zermatt. All the way, 1700 meters. Boom, let's do it.
running down these hills is the best. Bye Matterhorn. So as I mentioned earlier, I could have taken the cable car up to about 2,600 metres or so, leaving a still pretty punchy 700 metre ascent to the point that I got to. But I knew, I knew that I was capable of doing it all the way from Zanat, all the way from the ground here. And even though I woke up this morning, I was a bit, a bit tired, I didn't sleep that well. Um, I knew that when I tuck into my full enormous pizza later on, and drink my first beer, they're both going to taste so much better knowing that I didn't bulk out and take the easy option today. And that's half the reason why I do this stuff, to be honest. It's, um, it's great exercise, but just the feeling of accomplishment at the end when you spent sort of six, seven hours getting up and down a mountain, it's pretty special.